and to marry In today's video, we are going to discuss about the practical ABR and strategic citation system. So I'm going to show you the actual arrangement, actual component, and the actual circuit diagram as a comparison between the fundamental that we have learned in previous session, ABR part one, which is air operator DVR and AVR part two, that it called compound excitation system. I suggest if you did not go through that videos, so better you first refer to the video and come back to this session. In today's video, I'm going to show you what is what are the excitation components like compound transformers, as well as the error of the VR, what are the adjusting removal from where that you can adjust the group setting as well as the voltage setting and the uh, proportional value, the reset value, or the. Let's get a start with the modern practical area. In this diagram, you can see the overall layout of modern excitation system. This part shows you a generator. Theta windings, which gives the output to the bus bar through the circuit breaker. And the rotary part, it consists of main scene winding, rotating diodes grid, and the rotary exciter. And the exciter theta winding is shown here, which is supplied by a CR unit or through an SCR unit, which is supplied or excited by the air operator and the VR or compound transformer system. There are two main components in this particular application, which is the air operated part as well as the compound transformer system. The air operated AVR use potential transformer to measure the voltage, while the compound transformer uses a series primary two winding and the parallel or shunt primary one winding. Both of these components will finalize the required amount of excitation and to maintain the regulated voltage output of the generator. This slide shows modern practical excitation filter which includes both the excitation system. The first one, the red color, shows the compound excitation system, the compound graph or management, while the blue one shows the air operated one. So most of these we have discussed, the fundamental operation behind these two systems we have discussed in part one and part two of this avian discussion. If you see this diagram, I have shown here in the orange color with a battery, these terminals are provided for feed flashing in case your residual magnetism or in case that you have to flash your generator for the very first time, then you have to apply an external voltage DC supply to this F1 and if to turn in. In this practical application, we have shown a brushless or rotary excitation system. On next slide that we will see each of these components much closer and we have we have a comparison between our fundamental uh, and that's already discussed. So this is the diagram that you are familiar with, and this is the diagram which is actual. So this shows the compound transfer management, and in the right hand lower corner that you can see the practical appearance of this excitation system. I will show you in the later part of this video, a video of cursive of this old components, right. So the, the, the circuit diagram that we have learned, actually it goes with a flip ring array. 
So that's why we call it as static file layers in time. But in modern practical applications, we cannot see the footprint arrangement and it is replaced by a brushless excitation system. Let's see what are those on board. Primary two winding is shown here that you can see the primary two winding. And the secondary winding is shown here. Primary one winding shown here. And the a reactor card are it L1 and your capacitor bag that you can see as for your practical application, it is here. Apart from that, main stator winding G1 and the rotor winding is also G1. So these are familiar with this diagram and we can compare. And this part is the rotating or brushless excitation system. The rotating diode, varistor, and the exciter of the neat exciter, theta white. These set of diodes are the diodes which relevant to your compound excitation system. So I hope that you have now a clear picture between the theory that we have learned and the practical application of compound APR unit. Now on next slide, when we discuss about the area operated area. Here in this slide, you can see three nauticals. One is a circuit diagram. The second one is the uh, fundamental theory drop diagram that we have learned in our previous session. And this one is the practically we are physical appeal, we are operating part. All right. Let's see what all these components and where are those. Voltage changing unit shows by number one, and the comparator is number two. You can see this is the comparator, and the error operator AV amplifier, or we call it as PID controller, is this part. You can adjust the gain and the reset action. Then the side is served by the circuit representing this circuit symbol. The voltage stabilizing, it shows here. And finally, the time curve as shown here. So this is the daisy structural comparison between the two practical and the fundamental theory. Now it's clear that what we have already learned are already consist in the practical applications too. And uh, you can see in the bottom corner diagram, uh, the component hub of compass that you can easily see, there are three trimmers, one, two, three. These are the ones that you can control the set voltage and the proportional gain and the reset gain that you can adjust. And some, one of uh, the trimmer provided for group adjustment also, which is uh, that you cannot see clearly in this diagram, but it is all hope. Modern days, there is a rather famous uh, type, VA2491 ABR. It can, it can sit on a bit more complex part, additional part actually. It consists of power module, which take our external power to supply your excitation. And this is the power circuit part. And this one is the same as the previous uh, AVR that we have discussed, the operating part. The voltage sensing part, it shows here. The comparator, you can see, this is the comparator. And the error operator amplifier with the gain and reset adjustments shown here. The diagnostic wiring circuit and the voltage stabilizer in shown by three and four respectively. And you can see there are five trimmers provided in the practical board. The S is the root fitting, U is the fit point, 
And one of this is for the proportional X and the other one is for the reset action K and T. So the other one is for the sensitivities. So these are the practical uh, appearance. This is the practical appearance of the air operated AVR. Basically, this is the comparison. Now let's move to have a closer look or the actual appearance of this component, how those assembled in a generate. Now you can see on this video, this is the prior to my, which is connected to series to generate our output. And this one is primary one, and you can be there while together. And the capacitor coil and the reactor coil are shown here. The generator start point and the differential over harmony. That's what I saw on in red color. The down below, we can see the rotor. We have the salient pole construction and the rotating down the reverse mountain on that. This is the main start point. And from the other side, the wheel, we can see the aero operated the mountain on the side, while the other components related to compound draft over that you can see at the yeah the capacitor reactor card the external diviser and all of the transformers potential ground normal that shown yeah mm -hmm. this is the internal arrangement of and the whole and if you go to the main control bus and